What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the iPhone XR and we're going to be looking at how good this phone still is in 2023. This phone was released back in 2018 and it's been five years since its release. Let's talk about the build of the phone. So this phone um, features a glass front and back. As you can see, you'll also be dealing with a lot of fingerprints over the usage um, of this phone. And uh, it's got an aluminum frame right around the phone. And on the right side, you've got the power button. And on the left side, you've got the silent switch and the two volume buttons. At the bottom of the phone, you've got your speaker grill and your microphone, and you've got the lightning port for charging. At the top of the phone, you've got your um, earpiece, you've got your camera, and all the tech um, for Face ID housed in that notch. Um, this phone is also IP67 rated, which is dust and water resistant. So you'll be able to take it for a swim, but I would not recommend taking it deep into the water or actually swimming with the phone. It can take um, a dip in the water, a splash, but I wouldn't recommend you to go um, swimming with this phone. Um, let's talk about the display, which is a liquid retina display. This is an IPS LCD display, um, but Apple insists on calling it a liquid retina display. This is a 6.1 inch display with a resolution of 828 by 1792 pixels. It's got a pixel densi density of 326 pixels per inch and the glass is scratch resistant. Um, but I'm not too sure about um, that. On the screen, I don't, I don't think you'll be able to see this um, over the video, but I have noticed a few scratches, um, but that's to be expected of a five-year-old phone. Um, in terms of colors that you can get this phone in, so we've got the black here, um, but the other colors are red, yellow, blue, coral, and white. All the colors look um, incredible, they look nice, um, and I don't think you can go wrong with any of the colors um, that you prefer or the one that you pick. Now let's talk about um, the speaker setup on this phone. So this phone speakers features rather uh, stereo speakers, right? So you've got your bottom firing um, speakers and you've got your top firing speaker from the earpiece um, to get you that uh, um, stereo sound um, output. So, so the phone's battery is a 2,942 mAh hour battery. Now this can get you through the day with, a, with light usage. Heavy usage, you definitely need to charge the phone um, over the course of the day. Now, when, we, when it comes to the battery usage, um, I think the most that we've gotten over the um, course of the time we've spent with the phone is um, three hours of screen on time. And I think this is quite decent because that was light usage. This phone is not being used as the main phone currently. So that's quite good um, for now. Um, but if you're looking to buy this phone, go for a phone that's got above 80% battery health. As you can see here, we've got 86% um, battery health. And that I think should be good enough to last you through the day with light to moderate usage. Heavy usage, you're definitely charging the phone throughout the day. Now this phone can be charged um, through a wire, through this um, lightning port or um, wirelessly. So it's compatible with any Qi wireless charger and you'll be able to charge it wirelessly if you've got um, any wireless chargers um, lying around or available to charge the phone. Now in terms of performance, this phone features an 812 Bionic chip and this is a seven nanometer ch chip by Apple. So this was built in-house by Apple and this the, the performance of this phone I don't think has really gone down um, that badly. It still performs um, really well. I mean, opening apps is quite good. You get into and out of apps quite nicely, no problem. Um, it's a really, really good chip. It's got three gigabytes of um, RAM right there. So performance is quite good. Apple devices generally don't slow down um, or drop down their performance over time. Apple has perfected these chips by develop, developing them in-house and 
they're developed and optimized for iOS. So you will definitely be getting good performance there. In terms of storage, you've got three options. You've got 64 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes, and 256 gigabytes. All models are paired with three gigabytes of RAM. The iPhone XR is still also running, um, is running currently iOS 16.5. So you're getting all the good features of the latest iPhones. There you go, iOS 16.5.1. So in terms of software, this phone is still up to date and is definitely going to be supported um, up until iOS 17. I don't know if Apple is going to decide to support this phone after iOS 17, but currently you've got all the nice features that come with iOS 16, the customization options that um, Apple introduced with iOS 16. Um, you can get your widgets um, on the lock screen there and um, all the other nice features that you, you want. So this phone is running the latest software, same as the um, latest iPhone. So you're really not missing out when it comes to um, features there. Some of the features might not be here, um, just to put it out there, but when it comes to Apple supporting their phones, you're getting um, good support for a long time. So this phone, I would say when it comes to software, it's still worth it because it still runs the latest software and Apple are continuously supporting their phones for a long time. Thumbs up to you, Apple, for that. And um, yeah, you, you've got an, a, a nice phone that still runs the latest software, even in 2023, after five years. A lot of Android phones, I mean, get support up to four years, um, and that's Samsung phones. Um, so this is a good deal um, in terms of software. Let's move on and talk about the camera. I'm sure a lot of you were very interested um, to see how the camera still performs and how good the camera still is. Now, one of the things about the camera of the 10R is it features a single lens um, camera. That's a 12 megapixel wide camera, right? Um, I'm sure a lot of you are already thinking, oh my God, this is not good. Um, why is it a single lens camera? But let me tell you something about this, uh, this camera. It's held up quite well and it still does quite good. So I'm gonna bring into the frame here, um, this pine cone, um, it's been uh, painted over. So this is going to be what we'll be using to just see how good the camera is. So I'm just gonna take a shot there, just so you guys can see how good this camera still is. 12 megapixels um, on the rear camera and the shot is still quite good. I have, um, I think this, the shots coming from this phone are still good. I'm gonna show you a few samples later on of the uh, shots that I took on um, on this um, iPhone XR. It also features portrait mode, but unfortunately, this only works um, on people. So you, as you can see there, no person detected. It's not gonna work um, on objects um, other than um, people. Um, so the selfie camera right there, guys, there you go, portrait mode working perfectly. So the, the selfie camera is a seven meg megapixel camera and it's quite good. The portrait mode works quite well. So as you can see there, I'm just gonna try a sel um, selfie there, flash was on, but it's got good details. You can do video of up to 1080p right there. Um, 1080p up to, 30, 60 frames actually on the selfie camera and on the rear camera the video can go up to 4k um, on the iPhone 10R so the video is still quite good um, you'll definitely be seeing um, sample footage and sample photos that I took on the 10R and you guys are going to be the judge of how good this camera is
this is a sample of the rear facing camera video um, so you can see I'm walking right now you can see the stabilization on the video um, and you can see the audio quality obviously I'm outside here there's not a lot of people walking around um, but you can see how good the video is and how it's handling everything bit of lens, um, lens flare there but overall I think the video is quite good now guys the big question is this phone still worth it in 2023 I think the iPhone 10R is a good phone for anyone on a budget again this was a budget phone when it came out and it still is a budget phone right now the price has gone down significantly um, if we just jump onto Amazon um, quickly so that I can show you the price of this phone right um, it's around three hundred um, dollars so the price is it's still a bit high a little bit but um, I think most of you if you're on a budget you're gonna be able to enjoy premium quality a premium quality phone a good quality phone from iPhone it's a good way to get into the iPhone ecosystem and there you go just as I said around three hundred and sixty nine dollars um, that's a 128 gigab uh, gigabyte model so yeah it's not it's not the cheapest phone but if you've got around 300 to 400 dollars and you're looking for a phone and you're looking to maybe test out um an iphone test out ios i think this is a very good phone so guys thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to, to, to like the video and subscribe if you got any value from this video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.